Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As all of you probably already know, the Prime Minister of Slovakia, Robert Fico, is in a very, very serious condition after an attempt on his life yesterday in Slovakia. Um, I have some latest updates here that I'm going to read this to you. But before I do this, I just want to tell you guys when I saw that when I saw that video yesterday, when I saw what was happening, uh, not only this is heartbreaking, but in a way this was not a surprise to me because I don't believe that the person who is uh, apparently a poet, a writer, 71 year old man who have been who has been hating uh, Fito for a very long time and who officially was making those statements on internet etc. I don't believe that he was just operating out of mental obsession and hatred. I think there is much more to it. Uh, we know what the Prime Minister of, of Slovakia stood for and I will be reminding this to you in this video today as well. But before we go into the latest updates in regards to his health condition, I just want to ask you guys to think about this man and to pray for his recovery, for his health, for his life, to return back to full strength, full energy and to continue his work. Because when I heard about this prime minister, I was actually in Russia, I recorded that video in which I was giving you what he said, how he informed thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people in the world about what they are planning to do. And when he said that Slovakia is absolutely refusing to send troops to Ukraine, I was in a absolute admiration of what he has done because many, many people still didn't believe it and were not aware of it. And when he was saying those words, he actually said, I hope, I think you remember, he said that he's going to stand for this, what he's saying for that. And even if it will cost him to lose his position, I know that he was very aware of what he is dealing with, what kind of demons he is against. But let's go to the latest report that I have here. The link will be, as always, down below in the description box. But, you know, things are changing as we speak. Robert Fico is in a stable but serious condition on Thursday, which is today, after being shot multiple times in a, an assassination attempt a day earlier. That was yesterday, May 15th. A hospital official has said doctors are continuing to treat Fico in an, uh, an attempt to improve his condition. Defense Minister Robert Kaliniak told reporters outside the hospital in Banska Bystrica. As you know, uh, many of you already, because I'm sure you looked into uh, that news, horrible news yesterday. They were rushing to the closest hospital, so they didn't fly him to Bratislava, actually. They took him to Banska Bystrica, I think is the name, hospital. However, interesting fact here, uh, maybe if you pay attention, when he was on the bed, when the medics were taking him on that bed inside the hospital, there was not too much rushing, to be honest. I mean, I look at those things as well. It's you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just overreacting, but the government says five shots were fired at Fico on Wednesday outside a cultural center where he was meeting with supporters. A suspect was in custody and an initial investigation found a clear political motivation behind the assassination attempt. Interior Minister uh, Matus Sutai, a stock, if I mispronounce, apologies, said on Wednesday, Fico has long been a... This is from this article, okay? So I'm just going to read you as it is. Fico has long been a divisive figure 
and Slovakia and beyond, but his return to power last year on a pro-Russian anti-American message led to even greater worries among fellow Union members that he would lead his country further from the Western mainstream. And is it a bad thing I'm asking here? Is it to lead any country further from the Western mainstream? Thanks to him, many of us know what was really taking place. And like I said, let's acknowledge the courage of this person, of this prime minister. Someone left a comment under my post yesterday when I posted that video with uh, this attempt on his life. Someone said, is Orban next? But let's not put it out, but you know. The shooter was 71 year old man. Fito has repeatedly noted that this is actually from another article. Sorry, guys, I just jumped into the article from TASS. Uh, on TASS from today, it says that Robert Fito was shot and wounded in the chest, stomach and a limp. The shots were fired when he emerged from a cabinet meeting in the city of Handlova. The shooter was 71 year old man. Fico has repeatedly noted that Slovakia will not support Ukraine's bid to join NATO. In February 2024 this year, the Slovak prime minister said the conflict in Ukraine would have ended at the very beginning, but someone told the Ukrainians they should not do it. Bratislava under Fico has repeatedly called for a ceasefire and peace talks. He sees anti-Russian sanctions as negatively affecting the people of Slovakia. He also expressed the opinion that Ukraine should significantly standardize its relations with Russia after the end of this conflict. Once again, guys, let's pray for his quick recovery to full strength, full health, being able to walk, talk and continue his work. We will be, of course, uh, following this daily. Meanwhile, we have Putin visiting China. The visit will take place, as I've mentioned during my live stream with Andrei Martianov. Those of you who haven't seen it, go on the main page of my channel under live category. Uh, President Putin is in China. This visit will last, I believe, two days today and tomorrow. And this again is from TASS. Putin is visiting China, Beijing, May 16. Relations between China and Russia are not opportunistic and are not directed against anyone. Russian President Vladimir Putin said during talks with Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping, if I mispronounce Xi Jinping again, I'm sorry, in a limited circle of delegates. Now quoting uh, President Putin, it is of fundamental importance that relations between Russia and China are not opportunistic and are not directed against anyone. Um, other cooperation in the world affairs today series as one as the our I'm sorry, our cooperation in the world affairs today serves as one of the main stabilizing factors in the international arena. According to Putin, Russia and China together uphold the principles of justice and a democratic world order that reflect, reflects multipolar, multipolar uh, realities and a world order based on international law. Quoting Putin again, Russia and China are successfully cooperating in the UN, BRICS, SCO and G20. We are determined to further harmonize integration process in the Eurasian space to combine the potential of the Eurasian economic community and your, my dear friend, Belt and Road Initiative. End of quote. Putin expressed hope that his current visit would give an additional uh, impact to the development of the entire complex of bilateral cooperation. Again, quoting President Putin, I would like to emphasize I am very happy 
to arrive in China and to meet with you, he said to Xi Jinping. Powerful meetings, a lot will be signed, I'm sure. Many deals and the future. The future and the energy moves to the east. Meanwhile, in Poland, guess what kind of meetings we are having here, everyone? Something that is taking place in Poznań, city of Poznań, and is called Impact 2024. Representatives of World of Politics, Business and Science come to Poznań for the prestigious Impact 2024 event, which is an economic and technological event on a global scale. A total of 650 speakers from all over the world will appear on stage to discuss the most current problems. Among them will be a big star. Someone get upset when I called this star a big mic. Well, oh, I just leave it here. I don't want to go into details. It's too many. Michelle Obama is a big star who will come to Poland for the first time. I wonder why now? Why now, huh? And what she will talk about? She will... He, she, will, they, however you identify yourself. She will talk about her experiences as a wife, mother, black woman, former, la former first lady of the United States, and her activities for others. So in this one sentence, I would like you to leave in the comments down below how many lies were in this one sentence. Let me repeat again. She will talk about her experiences as a wife, mother, black woman, former first lady of the United States and her activities for others. How many truths, how many lies in one sentence. Her speech is scheduled for today, which is May, May 16. And this is from me and not I'm not going to bring this speech to this channel. What is interesting here, everyone, is people are struggling and the future doesn't look too bright, but we always have hope and we pray to God. The cheapest ticket was $100. I kind of exchange with exchange rate. There was a, a drop of dollar lately. So we have $100, the cheapest ticket around $500, the second ticket. The most popular one was $2,000, yes. And the VIP around $4,500. And this one includes accommodation in the city of Poznań, in the hotel, in the center of Poznań, and a seat at the front row, as well as the fast track during registration at the event. So that's what we have in Poland. Putin and Xi Jinping building the future and we have building the future with Michelle Obama. One comment of the day today from my latest live stream with Andrei Martiano from someone who frequently leaves the comments and I want to acknowledge you Anna and appreciate you. I know you are from Russia. Thank you so much for being so consistent with leaving the comments. As many of you know, hitting this like that is free of charge and leaving the comment actually helps with the views of the video and that means a lot because many people still in coma and uh, cognitive dissonance of the brain. Comment from Anna K. Anya, thank you for invitation of Andrei. Interesting and interesting and informative. I am not fond of Shoigu. I am involved on, in humanitarian aid and I can tell that a lot of needs of Russian soldiers are met by ordinary people, not by Ministry of Defense, from clothes to drones. The only idea is that we need this war to stop, nothing more. We are tired of war. I hope it will be finished soon. Anna, thank you so much for your comment. I think we all want this to end. <sighs> we all want this to end. could end it long time ago. I want to say thank you so much for all of you watching this video. Those of you who are from Slovakia, I know there are some of you. Please leave in the comments down below your thoughts, your opinion. I always appreciate people who leave comments, especially from the countries that I am addressing on my channel. 
uh, because we learn a lot from one another. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, hitting this like, leaving the comments, subscribing as well. I have live stream scheduled tomorrow with Scott Ritter, so uh, keep an eye on it. I will be posting the link on the community page as well as on my local community. Uh, to support my work, if you choose to, you can do it via donations on coffee. You can buy me coffee via that donation. You can go to my fundraiser, PayPal, become the supporter uh, on the locals and also member of this channel. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I appreciate it as well very much. Join my mailing list free of charge. Link is down below this video. And with this being said, guys, uh, all the articles are also attached in the description box. Lots of love. And remember, we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. See you tomorrow with Scott Ritter. Bye, everyone.